Hey y'all, hey y'all, it is your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. So as y'all can see from tie down below, we are back with another DIY. If you've been on this channel, you know I started out, I started out this channel with DIYs, but with being in school, a whole lot, a whole lot was going on. But now the school is coming to an end. We are back with DIYs. So in today's video, as you saw from tie down below, I will be doing my graduation cap this was something that i wanted to do myself just to make it a little bit more personal but of course you know you can always go to someone to get it done but you know as i said i wanted it to be personal so i started out with coming up with a few ideas i did this on canva this was just me throwing out some ideas out there i want to put in some of my heritage which is jamaica along with just finding a quote that i found from pinterest so that's what i would suggest if you're struggling with coming out with ideas is just going through pinterest seeing what you like and then throwing some stuff together and seeing what catches the eye. So that's what I started out with and that's what I'll be basing my design off for this was just throwing different things together. So started off with my cap. I personally got my cap from my school's bookstore. So if you know, I went to the University of Georgia and I just got it from the bookstore. It was only like $11, I think. So it wasn't anything too, too crazy, but you can buy it on Amazon, whatever the case may be. So yeah now i'm showing you all all the materials i got this glitter cardstock sort of paper and the solid black cardstock paper i believe from michael's everything was either bought from michael's or um hobby lobby or walmart but i'm gonna have all of the information for everything that i bought down in the description box below if you're interested so i bought green and black cardstock to represent the flag i bought a couple different letters you'll see i don't end up using that font that you see up at the top i got a yellow um ribbon just to make that sort of trim on the flag really straight i got mod podge to seal everything in i'm using a foam brush i have my hot glue gun just to secure everything down the mod podge is rolling away from us <laughs> also make sure you have some glue sticks on hand just in case if you need anything extra if you use too too much you also need scissors just to get everything straight i would also suggest having an exacto knife on hand but i didn't have the exacto knife with me while making this so yeah i was at school and i was making this at home and also make sure you have a ruler or something straight to measure things out with and just make sure that you're cutting straight lines and also you i don't know if i put it out here but i also used a pencil to help with tracing everything out and knowing where I was going to cut everything. So you don't need too much to make the cap. You just need your idea and just grabbing a few things from the store. None, none of this costed anything expensive. If you already have a hot glue gun, I'm pretty sure you already have the glue sticks. It didn't cost that much. So it's something I would definitely suggest doing if you have a little bit extra time. And I did this on my spring break. So it was a fun thing to do while I was on break. Okay, so now you see all I'm doing is just measuring out this, the plain black cardstock. This is because you never know if you want to use your grad cap again or if you want to, you had like give it to someone else for the next year. So I didn't glue anything down to the cap just because I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to be continuing with this idea or whatever the case may be. So I put everything onto the black cardstock and then attach the black cardstock to the cap at the end of the day, but you'll see that later. So I'm just measuring out how big the amount of cardstock is that I need just by tracing the outline of the grad cap on the cardstock. Now I'm just taping the sides just to make sure that everything is going to line up correctly. And then next thing now you'll see me is I'm pushing through in the middle of the cap to just draw around where that, I don't know what the word, the technical term is for it, but just where that little button is that holds the tassel in the middle, I'm just drawing around that to create that sort of circle so that I can cut that part out later. You don't have to cut the part out, you can keep the tassel underneath, but I want to cut the hole out so the button can be on top and still showing throughout the design so that when it's time to turn my tassel to the right, from the right to the left, I was able to do it. <laughs> and this is where I'm saying if I had an X-Acto knife, it would have made this part so much easier. Y'all, if you're using scissors, be safe, be careful, do not cut yourself. 
but an exact knife would have made cutting out that centerpiece so much easier now to make this part super easy i'm just taping the black cardstock onto the glitter cardstock so i didn't have to trace over and over and over again so i'm just gluing on so that i know for a fact that they're going to line up perfectly and I'm just cutting out a full square for right now and you'll see how I turn that into the flag and get the triangles and all that sort of stuff together. So basically all I do, all I did was I cut up this square into four triangles. So I just made a big cross from both sides. And y'all, I know that's a fabric tape measure and all of that, but I had to do what I had to do just to make sure that, that line was straight. I didn't want nothing doing no crazy stuff or none of that. And now once you make your square or once you make those two lines through it, you could just cut straight through on the lines that you made. This is gonna be your two green sections for your flag if you're doing a Jamaican flag like how I did. And now we're gonna do the same exact thing to this black cardstock. So I'm just taping the sides. I'm going to cut and then do the two crosses, cut the crosses, and then I'm gonna have all the triangles that I need to make the Jamaican flag. Okay, so now that I have my all my parts together, I'm just gonna glue it down using the hot glue. So now that we have this done, we have the base of our Jamaican flag. Now we just have to add the yellow stripes going through, which is why I use the ribbon. You could have used yellow cardstock for it. However, y'all know it is really hard to cut a straight line. So I just thought, how about taking all of that pressure off of myself and just using ribbon to make sure everything would have been straight. So all I did was use the hot glue gun to glue it to the top. And then I just made a little triangle to glue it around the back so that it wouldn't come off. And now, once again, comes the hard part of cutting through that middle part. Once again, y'all, I would highly suggest having an X-Acto knife on you for this. But like I said, my X-Acto knife was at school and I was making this at the house. So I had to do what I had to do because I had to take pictures like two days after this with the cat. And y'all be careful when you're using hot glue as well. I don't need y'all burning y'all stuff. Please be careful with anything that you are using from this tutorial. Okay y'all, sorry, I actually had a little bit ahead of myself. I did not cut out that middle part until the next day just to let everything set and glue into place, but it will get cut out later. So what you're seeing me do right now is I'm trying out some of the fonts of stickers that I got. Y'all, I was not 
I, while looking for supplies to make this, I didn't find the font that I was looking for in stickers. So I kind of just had to do with what I had. If you saw the design that I had in mind earlier in this video, it was a two font sort of thing, but the two fonts of stickers that I had, I ain't really like for real. So I just ended up using the cursive font for everything. So what you're gonna see me doing now is just playing around with placement of where the words are going to go and just making sure that everything fits with the stickers that I'm using. Now this part for the letter placement honestly took me the longest amount of time because I just wanted to make sure everything was going to fit in the right place and just look good all together. So this took me forever, but that's why I liked that I was using stickers and I didn't fully stick it down so that I was able to still like move it around and alter it, fix it the way that I wanted it to look. Okay, so now I've figured out that this is kind of how I like it to look. The only thing that I added after this was just the little apostrophe in between the N and the T because grammar. <laughs> And now as I'm laying them down for real, for real, I'm realizing that they're not fully sticking. So that's what the Mod Podge is used for later on. But I'm just going through now and picking out all my silver jewels. I thought it needed a little bit something extra. So I added in some silver jewels to the outside of the whole look. And I just chose the biggest jewel that came in that pack to go all the way around. Now I will say these jewels are like, as time was going on, I realized that a lot of these jewels started popping off for some reason. So I would say if you can't use like hot glue or something, probably using E6000 glue would be a stronger option or even using super glue. But at the moment, like I said, didn't have those where I was at and I was trying to get this done. It was super late at night, but hot glue will make it last for whatever you need to get done super quick. But if, you, if you're if you gonna be wearing the cap more than one time or anything like that, you're gonna be moving around in it, you may wanna use a stronger glue like an E6000 or super glue.
Okay, so now I'm going through with the Mod Podge to secure everything down. This is where I will say I had issues with the finishing of it as far as it just, the like the brush strokes and all of that. So that is one thing that I would have done more consistently. I had no issues with the brush strokes, but you'll see later on most likely, or if you probably saw it in the thumbnail, that I did different things in different areas. So the overall finish looked a bit different but either way it goes the mod podge worked really well with securing the stickers down because if i didn't use the mod podge it definitely those stickers would have been coming up for sure and all i did was i just added an even coat to it i did one coat left it to dry overnight which is this is the next day that you're seeing it and then now i'm going through and cutting that part which oh my gosh y'all I cannot say how hard it was to cut that middle part out, but once again, I do think if I had X-Acto knives, if I had my X-Acto knife, it would have been way easier to cut through. But either way it goes, I was able to cut through it, and for that ribbon that was in the middle, all I did was use some hot glue to secure it to the back of it so it wouldn't come out. Okay, so once you have your hole cut out, you just pop it on just like that, just like so. Then you could leave it on just like this and that could be the end of it for you. But I went in with some Velcro that you'll see coming up soon just to secure the edges down. So I just cut enough Velcro to be on each edge just to make sure that my stuff wouldn't be flying up in the wind or if anything happened, it won't fall off the cap. So this is just an extra layer of security and protection for me. So I just took off the tape on both sides and secured it down the way that it was supposed to go and fit on my head. And one thing I will say, y'all, when you're making your caps yourself, please remember which way it's going to read to. Remember that you're making your whatever you're making or if you have a saying, it should read diagonally through the cap and not top to bottom like it's a square. We want it to read almost like it's a diamond, not a square. That's going to be very important if you're doing pictures or anything like that. Now, whether you choose to have your words read to the back of you or to the front of you is up to you. But yeah, so this is my finished product. I hope y'all like this DIY. If y'all want to see anything else from me in the future, please leave that down in the comment section down below. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at I'm Siri Drew so you can see my professional pictures that I took with this cat. And subscribe to this channel so you can see more DIYs just like this. And remember that I love you all so much. And my name is Sincerely Dre, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.